What's up guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. In this video, let's talk about the Airbus, particularly the Autopilot Disconnect, or also known as the Takeover Push Button. And I'm also gonna talk about the Auto Thrust System and the Instinctive Disconnect Push Button. Basically, we're gonna talk about red buttons in regards to automation on the Auto Thrust and also on the, um, the side stick, okay? So uh, the takeover push button or the autopilot disconnect, as you well know, serves to disconnect the autopilot. It also serves to take over control. When we push and hold it, all right, we're gonna hear priority left or priority right, depending upon who exactly pushes the takeover push button. Moreover, if we push and hold it for 40 seconds, we completely lock out the other side stick. So as an example, Captain, if you push your takeover push button and hold it for uh, 40 seconds, you're gonna lock out the first officer and vice versa, first officer. So the, re the question always comes up, why would you want to do that, right? Are you trying to lock out the other pilot? Well. Imagine for a moment you have an incapacitated pilot and the incapacitated pilot is kind of slumped over the stick and now you have a control input that we don't, it's not desirable, right? So we would want to push and hold the takeover push button for 40 seconds, thereby basically inhibiting that side stick entirely until we can finally apply the incapacitated pilot proficiency item where we would essentially need to have some uh, attendant come in and recline that pilot back and strap them to the seat etc so that will be your proficiency item i won't get into that but basically that's the reason for that now as far as who has control right whoever last hits that takeover push button would take control of the aircraft so if we lock it out for 40 seconds we could very well take back control of the aircraft we would just simply need to push the takeover push button another time in order to take back control with that being said there's more that i can talk about there but i do want to talk a little bit about in this video the auto thrust all right the auto thrust has a similar red button for the uh the disconnect which they affectionately um, call or actually formally call the instinctive disconnect push button i like to just affectionately say the disconnect button all right but basically it's the same red button what you want to know is that's basically the preferred method to disconnect Connect the auto thrust system. There's a few ways to disconnect the auto thrust. There's three. One is to bring the thrust levers to idle. That's what we do on landing, but depending on the scenario, that may not be desirable. Second way is to uh, disconnect it via the IDP, the instinctive disconnect push button, the disconnect button. That's the preferred way to do it. And the third way is via the FCU or the flight control unit to simply deselect it. That's not, however, the preferred or the recommended way because the auto thrust system is going to interpret that as a FMGC failure or an auto, th more specifically, an auto thrust system failure at which point it'll give you a auto thrust um, uh, fault and it'll give you thrust lock so we don't really want to do it that way instinctive disconnect push button is the way to go auto thrust system i mentioned fmgc's it operates based on the flight management guidance computer it's slave to number one but it could also work off of number two if number one fails it's also slave to the autopilot so fmgc one with autopilot one fmgc two with autopilot two depending upon the autopilot that's connected is the one that is going to be uh, in control of the auto thrust system the disconnect push button getting back to this if i push and hold it for 15 seconds i'm going to have uh, a complete inhibiting of the auto thrust system for the remainder of the flight in other words you will no longer have auto thrust why would you ever want to do that another question that comes up well maybe you have what is referred to as an alpha floor loop um, well what is alpha floor I talk all about this, by the way, in our A320 online ground school, but basically it's the airplane thinking it's in a, uh, an undesirable energy state and it commands toga power. So maybe the airplane is erroneously determining that and commanding toga power. That's one example where we may need to get rid of the auto thrust system. All right, so we can get rid of it or inhibit it for the remainder of the flight by simply pushing and holding the instinctive disconnect push button, the dis disconnect buttons, for 15 seconds. All right. So, man, for flight controls, when it comes to flight controls, laws, protections, uh, modes, normal mode, flight mode, flare mode, the side stick relationship, am I commanding G load versus roll rate versus direct versus direct, what do I have in abnormal attitude law, what about a mechanical backup, the absence of all laws. That in and of itself I can easily spend several hours talking about, let alone the auto thrust system and then how um, alpha floor works and all that stuff. So hopefully you pick up our videos, that's a great place to start, onestepprep.com, and if you want to do more, we can do virtual ground school, virtual oral prep, you can come in person, we can do an in-person class here, um, or we can get linked up somehow so we can do something together, maybe even rent a sim, all right? One last thing before we end this video, AX3 certification, November 14th is the next one. Those of you that are instructors and you want to elevate your instructional ability, very, very highly encourage you to go check out this program. Uh, it's basically a program that I put together. Let me see if I have a workbook here, I may not. Anyways, it's uh, basically a full day 
of learning, uh, instilling good values, followed by attention, awareness, and accountability. Those are the three A's. These are all principles that I find uh, very prevalent in highly engaging and effective instructors. All right, so if you want to get uh, more involved with that, get AX3 certified. By the way, several airlines are recognizing this. Even the FAA themselves um, is starting to take notice of it. So that being said, very much look forward to working with you. AX3certification.com, onestepprep.com. Juan and Joe, you know the name. Love you guys. We'll see you there.